Hey, what's up, Mustang boy? All righty, everybody. Thanks for stopping back in. I'm going to do what I've been threatening to do. I'm going to take off the smog pump. You know, it's funny. Volkswagen got sued and had to pay millions upon millions of dollars for cheating on their smog pump. And look, they were cheating on their emissions. They had the big emission diesel gate. But this thing here, there's a smog pump. It's just an air pump. All it does is take air out of the uh, exhaust, basically, and tries to recirculate it back through so that if anybody's reading the emissions out of the tailpipe, they come in at a lower rate of emissions than what they really were. It's basically cheating, but in plain sight. Um, I know the two hardest things to do is right there. I'm going to zoom in. Yeah, see that? That crossover um, line goes back there. You got to get to the bolt right on the back side of that. It's up against the firewall and the one on the driver's side is they're both really hard to get to and turn. There's just not any room to turn. That's the hardest things about it from everything I've read. But the uh, belt, I've got the belt diagram, the smog pump one, this one right here on the bottom. So I'm going to zoom in. Let me, yeah, there it is. See the water pump is the only thing on there that's going to be spinning counterclockwise. And Bye bye smog pump. Get that thing out of the way because I don't need it. It'll help clean up the engine bay a little bit and I just, uh, yeah, it's just it's just ugly. You can see it's just kind of ugly down in there. And should take a little bit of rolling friction off the engine too. Should be like a .5 horsepower gain. That's what I'm talking about. .5 horses. I'll be have, I'll have this thing up 275 horses one day if I keep on playing. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, what's up, Mustang boy? How you like my new ride? Yeah. Mm-hmm, yeah. Oh, man, Camaro man. You know what? Somebody was telling me the other day that you had a new bike. And I thought for sure they were talking about a daggone motorcycle. And then they said, yeah, he's got a lowrider bike. I was like... Harley Davidson makes a lowrider. There ain't no way in the world he can afford it. And they weren't lying. That is a lowrider bike. Man, that's pretty cool. What? What's broke now? Ah, uh, ain't nothing broke. Once again, I did have a little bit of light issue, and I don't know if you weren't to blame for it, you and your gremlins. Anyway, I'm taking off the smog pump. It uh, makes it look better under here, and it might even make it faster. Why didn't you take it off years ago if it's going to make this thing faster? Lord knows it, can, it needs all the help it can get. Hey, you can help if you got time. You can hold my light or something for me while I'm working around in the dark. No, no, I can't help. I can't help. I got to go. I'll just, I'll just pass it by. I figured I'd stop in. I see you working on this clunk of junk. Anyway, hey, I think Screen Man's coming. Maybe Screen Man, he can hold your light for you. I can't hold your light tonight. I'll see you later, man. Alright, screen man, you gonna hold the light for me? Alright, very good. Cool, you can help me work on this thing a little bit. Alright, the first parts will now be coming out. I undid 5 16 back here where the hard tube starts. Pulled it off the top of the little piece off the back of there. So I'm basically just do it, undoing um, radiator hose clamps at the moment. Voila, the first part of something I should have done years and years ago. I may actually go ahead and jump on the hardest part first and do those back bolts. It's crazy where that thing is. You see where the end of my wrench is right there turning? Look at that. The ratchet wrench is the way to go. If you had to do this with a regular wrench, I feel for you. I'm sorry. But the ratchet wrench from Harbor Freight. Thank you, Harbor Freight. 20% uh, coupon. Just mention Yellow Fox by the guy and then present your 20% off coupon and you'll get 20% off. <sighs> that was crazy. But that's the bolt right there. It's a half inch. So have your half inch ready. Like I say, I use this guy. And I could get in there and I was getting two clicks per turn because there's just not enough room to turn your wrench. That's the hardest thing to it is getting to it. All right. Whew. I got driver's side bolt loose. I'm going to tell you the absolute truth. If you do not have one of these, 
before you attempt this process of removing that tube off the back of the engine, you better get one. Because I could not imagine turning a half inch wrench two clicks at a time, pull it off, twitch it, two clicks at a time. That would not happen. I would go insane. So, yes, get you, well, get you the good set, a regular old wrench with this on the back side. If you've got that, go for it. Uh, the more tools you got, you never have too many tools. That's one thing about it. I've got socket sets all over the place. But I have got that uh, tube. I felt it fall loose. It's in the way. Look at there. Did I get some kind of trophy for taking all this stuff out? I mean, there's... Yeah. Look at the carbon. Holy cow. Look at the carbon build up in there, fellas. So it was doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. Here's the cool thing about these pieces. This is, um... Here's passenger side. That was the passenger side head, back side of the head. There's your driver's side, back side of the head. What you can do, you cut this off right here. You flip it. You've got a nice, pretty flat spot. So I'm going to bolt this. I'm going to cut this tube right here. No big deal. You put this right over the hole on your head. Boom. Same thing with this side. Just grab and hold that without the gloves on but yep now that was the passenger side we're gonna take it this was the inside before we're gonna flip it like this we're gonna bolt it and cover up the hole in the head with that flat side right there run the bolt right in boom smooth side up against the hole on the back side of the head bolt it right in just slide it where it feels good we'll crank the car list for whatever but that's one then the other I just put the bolt back in, got it hand tight, well a little more than hand tight like I say. This is a lifesaver and guys if you don't have one of these, a mirror on a stick, four or five bucks. This thing, I, I probably use this tool more than anything so I'm going to take a look down in there and I, doubt, I don't think I can get the camera angle on it right to see what I want to see. But I'm going to take a look and make sure that the hole in the back of the head is completely covered with the housing that's attached to that bolt, the old tube housing. far as I can. Something snapped. I don't know if the bolt popped loose. Or is it my wrench breaking? Alright, now I'm going to take a ratchet and get that sucker the rest of the way out of there. Nine sixteenths. All right, the long bolt is out that went right there, but um, now I got to get off. I'll show you there's a little bracket. Hard to get the light on there and hold a camera and do all that. Battery level low, exchange battery. All right. Yes, this is the 886 inch belt. Instead of the 845, I went and traded that in. And uh, we're going to put this belt on. We're outside. Everything will be turning clockwise except for water pump. And that's what it looks like. Look at that big open space down there. There's nothing in it anymore. Alrighty, I have got the car in the air because that tube that hooks into the factory H-pipe, as we call it, you can see it right there. That bad boy will not come out. It used to go right there. We're going to pinch off. I'm just going to pinch off that, um, that piece that runs across to the H-pipe. And we're going to cut this bad boy with a sawzall. I don't want to make a bunch of sparks under here. So I'm going to cut it off with a sawzall right here. There's the uh, last piece that wouldn't come out. I ended up cutting it with a sawzall. Just put the sawzall under there. I couldn't get that bend right there. was catching on transmission. So yeah. Cut that. That's out. So now all I have to do is pinch. That right there closed.
Boom, boom. There it is. Let's do a first fire after small pump DD. Let's feel the raw power. Fired right up. Actually fired better than normal. I know one of these um one of my little vacuum lines had been unhooked. I noticed it the other day it was undone. So maybe that got that fixed. Yes, yeah, idle down now. Let's get a look at that belt. There it is. That's the 860, 86-inch belt versus 84 and a half. And there we have it, Smog Pump Delete. Hopefully I didn't bore you to death. Like I said, I know there's a lot of other videos out there of people doing it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed watching this. This is how I do it, you know. I'm just a, I'm not poor by any means, but I'm a tightwad. I like to save my money. I like to do things myself, hands on. Um, my dad made me this way. Thank you, dad. And please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you've not already done so. I got a big box come in today. I think it had carpet. So we're going to do something. Seats have never been out of the car, so stay tuned for that. God bless you all. Good life. Peace.